I'm Meg Kaylee. Welcome to another episode of All In. Now, if you were to hear me say, life is strange, you might reply, yeah, that's pretty true. And while I could be talking about just how odd existence truly is, I could also be talking about the critically acclaimed, award-winning, narrative-driven adventure series from Square Enix that just so happens to be named Life is Strange, and that's exactly what I'll be talking about today. I've always been a sucker for games that tell amazing stories, and the Life is Strange series truly has yet to disappoint me. It all kicked off back in 2015 when the first episode of the first game was released, and yes, I said episode. Similarly to what we've seen from developers like Telltale Games, the first three full games to release in the series did so in an episodic format, with a new episode of the game becoming available every couple of months or so. Interestingly enough, the newest game in the series, Life is Strange True Colors, which we'll get into in a bit, ditched this format, and the entire game is available to play right at launch. I, for one, welcome this change as I initially waited until the entirety of the first Life is Strange game was available to play through it all, because I just couldn't handle the suspense between episodes. This series is also one that offers dialogue options for you to choose from as you navigate the relationships of the character you play as in each game, and boy do they really impact what can wind up happening. Don't worry though, you won't get any major spoilers from me because to ruin such a great series for you would simply be cruel on my part. The first game follows protagonist Max Caulfield, a meek photographer who returns to her hometown for a fresh chapter of life, only to uncover her unique ability to rewind time. An ability that came in quite handy for me as someone who constantly questions the decisions they make in games like this. It's difficult to explain the story here without spoiling the experience, so I'll simply say that Max meets up with an old friend of hers, Chloe Price, and together they take you on a wild ride through the chilling and intriguing events that play out. The game is packed with characters that you'll come to love, well, and hate, and moments that will stick with you even beyond playing. Not too long after the first Life is Strange game wrapped up its story, another game in the franchise, Life is Strange Before the Storm, was released. This game mixed up the formula a bit, as it was actually a prequel to the first game that follows the ever iconic Chloe Price, one of the most beloved characters from the previous entry, and provides more context to her character and to events that happened in Life is Strange. She doesn't really have a superpower, but there is this super cool backtalk mode that you get to experience. So Chloe's superpower is essentially sassing people, and it's incredible. This prequel consisted of only three episodes, unlike the original game's five. However, there was a bonus episode that could be played through with the deluxe edition of the game. If you're interested in playing both of these games and you haven't yet, or if you're a fan thinking about doing another playthrough, you should know that there's a remastered collection that includes the entirety of both Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm, slated to release sometime in 2022. We don't really know exactly when yet, so keep your eyes out but it may be worth it to just wait for that. After Before the Storm came the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit, which was a really awesome surprise reveal for fans who were eagerly awaiting news about Life is Strange 2. The best part about the reveal? Although Captain Spirit was only a single episode long, it was and still is completely free to download and play. It serves as an excellent introduction to Life is Strange 2 and provides some background for the game with a lot of interesting narrative tie-ins. For reference, the events of the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit take place during the events of the second episode of Life is Strange 2. The second full game, and by full game I'm counting, you know, games that have five episodes, just for reference, in the series is Life is Strange 2, which features a completely new duo of protagonists and a new story. You play as Sean Diaz, and this time around, you're not the one with the superpowers. Instead, you help to guide Sean's little brother, Daniel, and teach him how to control and use the telekinetic powers that he finds out he has. I found this dynamic especially interesting because the choices you make and the things you say all have an impact on who Daniel becomes as the game progresses. There are multiple endings that you can get in the game, all of which are pretty dramatically different, so bear that in mind when you make in-game decisions. And all of that brings us to the latest release in the series, Life is Strange True Colors. In this one, you'll follow Alex Chen and her superpower is empathy, which, to be honest, is a superpower that I wish more people in the world had. <clears throat> well, okay, Alex's superpower isn't exactly the same as what we know empathy to be. In all fairness, she can actually absorb and manipulate the strong emotions of others. When her brother dies in what's been referred to as an accident, 
Is it really an accident? She uses her power to seek out the truth behind what happened, changing fate and impacting lives along the way. And if I know anything about Life is Strange games, I know for sure that this one will be packed with juicy secrets to uncover and drama to witness as you sit back and sip your tea while you watch virtual characters call each other out. I think what makes this series as a whole so lovable for me, aside from the excellent storytelling, is the fact that it almost feels like realistic fiction in the sense that many of the issues covered in these games are true to life. They're things that we can witness and go, oh, I totally relate to that, which makes the characters feel that much more grounded and authentic. And then you've got superpowers sprinkled in, which is just super cool, and gives each game in the series a unique element within its gameplay, which keeps each experience fresh and separate from all the others. If narrative games are your thing, you definitely don't want to sleep on this series. Thanks so much for watching this episode of All In. Once again, I'm Meg Kaylee, and you can keep up with me at Meg underscore Kaylee. See ya!